I will tell you that sometimes I get credit for the Tea Party. It's not, I'm not. I may be a distant uncle to the Tea Party, but I'm not the founding father of the Tea Party. I believe that's Rick Santelli. And Rick Santelli has been one of the first guys and the only guys in the economic world who will actually tell you the truth. I've had an executive of one of the major networks tell me, and I quote, Glenn, we all know what's coming. We all know. But we have a responsibility to not tell the American people the truth. That's a direct quote. I have also had one of the biggest financial people on all of television, somebody that everybody respects, on all sides of the aisle, Glenn, you can't say those things because it causes panic. Even if it's true, you don't say those things. No, what causes panic is ill-informed people. That's why the, that's why, you know, that's like going onto an, a, on an airplane and the steward is saying, I'd like to tell you where the exits are, but nobody wants to tell you where the exits are because if I mentioned that we might crash, there'd be a panic. No. They tell you where the exits are and the flotation device in case there is a problem so you don't panic. That's our responsibility, I believe, as journalists, to tell you the truth, no matter how ugly it is. Rick Santelli is one of the only guys in the media when it comes to um, uh, the economy that I think tells you the truth. And I want you to hear... What he said about the jobs numbers, and I want you to hear how angry he is because he's alone and he knows they're going to discredit him. They're going to make him a pariah. They're going to make him a laughing stock. He's taking his career and he's flushing it down the toilet. He knows it. That's why I think he draws a line here and he says, I'm going to lead you to water. You drink yourself or not drink, but... I, I've done this for a while. And basically, with his passion, I think he's saying, and you people on television are all liars. And this, and this first audio is him making a prediction about what was going to happen with the jobs numbers weeks ago. Hey, I want to make a prediction for the Friday before the election number right now. Right. right now, Joe, you ready? Seven nine. Seven point nine yeah, on unemployment I, rate. I, I want to make it right now. Right now. I, I think I already said that. Though. Oh come on, this is that's, you that's, 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 that's silliness. That's, 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 that's silliness. That's silliness. Okay, so yesterday comes up again. What happened with the jobs numbers? And he's debating with you know a bunch of boneheads. Let me ask, Rick, Rick what what are you saying exactly? The, the BLS is given. Where do they get their? They, they get numbers from somewhere, right? Where where, where would they? Why would you ask Rick that question? Because I'm tired of listening Listen to, to you. Stop! Where, stop! Where stop! Stop! Think, uh... Listen to that. It's one of the guests who says, oh, "Why would you Rick. even ask him about that? Why would you even ask him about discredit, discredit, and isolate? Mm -hmm. We're all here. Why would you even ask him about that? Um, some of these numbers would that's come close, Rick. Job. How would this that, work? That, that's puzzling. That's good stuff, Joe. I want to well, give him a chance. Just... He said he's here, and then you talk for five minutes. Go ahead. As opposed well, to you? you know, we could argue about the process. We could look at how, how the BLS outsources to uh, the Census Bureau. We could look at how the Census Bureau operates, uh, where their jurisdiction is, what shifted in 09. But we don't need to go there. Right. Everybody's protesting too much. Here's what I will say. We have a stock market at multi-year highs. We don't have an economy that's at multi-year highs. You can put any jobs level, 100, 125,000 you want, put it forward and say it's going to be the new benchmark because that's under the guise of this shrinking labor force. Right. So that number isn't really viable either. All I can tell you is there was no doubt in my mind a month ago it would be under 8%. There was no doubt in my mind five minutes before the number would be under 8%. Take it any way you want. No, I can't take it any way you want, Rick, because what you're implying Why? with your Why? comment is that... I'm not implying that it... anything. Oh, no. I'm telling you, say and it, it turned out that it, way. Rick? I'm a market Why whisperer. Why say it? Why say it? Because your whole point... <laughs> because was it was true, and I like people to get predicted... the benefit of my 32 years in the market. <laughs> there was no doubt it would be under 8. It because is under what? 8. Why did you have no doubt, Rick? Oh, why did you have no doubt? Because I no doubt. Why did because you have I no, watched the why market, did you have and no I can doubt. tell you that the why? current trend honest, of these Rick, numbers is the no different is going than hey, the current. Stop. Listen to the guy's so, belligerence. Yeah. Why? Why? Why would you? Why would you have no doubt? Well, look, it came to pass 
So I must have had and something. The, and the guy who is the anchor, the guy who's the anchor says, oh, expletive. Yeah. yeah. And he says, this isn't going anywhere. The guy who's the anchor knows this is going to kill Rick. It, Rick is Rick is going to say things now that are going to, they're going to make him into a conspiracy theorist and they're going to destroy him. Rick knows it too. Please, America, please recognize that people are putting themselves, they're falling on their sword so you can have the information. They're falling mm. on their sword. They are risking their livelihoods. They're risking their families. They are doing the things that we have begged people to do. They are doing it. What's happening on Capitol Hill today with the congressional hearings on Libya, what happened with the sources with us, with the sources now on ABC News, they are coming out and saying, please help us. Think of this. Four years ago, when I said you're going to wake up one day and you're not going to recognize your country, think of this. You have Rick Santelli. He's afraid to put out his point of view. How many Americans right now are afraid of putting a Romney bumper sticker on their car? Are afraid of putting a a Romney sign in front of their house because they become a target. How many people in this country are now afraid that they're going to become a target? Have you logged on to any website in the last four years and thought, is this being recorded anywhere? Have you, have you thought about the information that is being stored on you by our government. Have you, has that crossed your mind? If it hasn't, believe me, in the next four years, it will. We have fundamentally transformed as a nation. When you are afraid, when I could get on Fox News and tell the American people, we have four coordinated attacks, a coordinated by the White House, to silence my free speech. It's never happened before in American history, and no one said a word. No one. That leads to more silence. That leads to people like Rick Santelli sending up a flare. Rick, I just have, I just want you to know, you're not going any place, but if you ever would go someplace, I would be honored to have you work for the Blaze. I don't know what they're paying you over there, but I can pay you some of it and probably some in peanuts. Mostly peanuts, just so you know. Mm-hmm. We, we get those checks. But I think best, we have some hardy certificates, I'm, I'm too, talking still. about planters, though, not cheap peanuts, like the real peanuts. Yeah, or if you want the orange... Kind of, they're you know, expired though. Candy we beans. should point that yeah, out. Yeah, most yeah, of those are expired. Get into details. We do let's have see. we do have some Hardy certificates for right. lunch. Yeah, we would be honored is, yeah. to have yeah. you at the Blaze, and uh, uh, I think he's one of the bravest guys out there, and I think he continues to show his bravery every day. And America, show mm-hmm. yours.